I'm Anthony Ward Thompson. Welcome to my kitchen. Chop it up a little bit, pop it in the oven, and then throw it in the chocolate. Roughly 18 to 20 minutes. That over the top. Good recipe to get the kids involved. It's pretty easy, isn't it? Nice and smooth. Perfect. So today I'm going to be making a delicious dessert. It's a pleasing, slender, low calorie sweetener as an alternative to sugar. Perfect for anyone with an incurably sweet tooth but wanting to have a healthier diet. Flapjacks, they're always a popular treat. Now this recipe is my own take on flapjacks. It's a favorite sweet snack of mine. I've added dried cherries, apricots, and chocolate chips to give a delicious twist to this classic recipe. I've got a lot of porridge oats here, some golden syrup, some nice dried cherries. It makes a nice little twist on the normal sort of things you put in your flapjacks. Pinch of salt, some white sort of chocolate pistules, some dark chocolate pistols, some butter, and some dried apricots that are just lightly chopped up. And of course, the good old splendor there to reduce your calories. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually take the butter and just chop it up a little bit so that um, it could, melts a bit quicker because we're gonna melt that with the golden syrup. Just pop that into a saucepan. And this will just melt in the saucepan with the golden syrup. So. Really good recipe to get the kids involved with. They love all that mixing and things like that. I'm just going to take that over to the cooker and melt those together. You can see it's bubbling away there. Golden syrup and butter has come together. So I've got the oats. I'm gonna pop into the, some apricots there, uh, the two sorts of chocolate. So we've got white chocolate and dark chocolate. If you prefer milk chocolate, that's entirely up to you. We've got dried cherries. And just a little pinch of salt. And four tablespoons of Splenda. Mix that all together. So you've got an even distribution of the fruit and the chocolate. And then we're just going to pour on the syrup. And this is where the kid's hand should be kept out because it's very hot. Okay, so then just take a wooden spoon and make sure it's all mixed up well together. Just about there. Keep making sure everything is really well coated together. And then I've got a greaseproof tray which I've just lightly buttered with the greaseproof paper in or the parchment paper. Just going to spoon that in. Like so. Have it really smooth, or you can have a little bit textured. You want? Yeah. I'm just going to pop that into the oven now for about 25 to 30 minutes. The oven temperature 180 degrees centigrade, 25 to 30 minutes. Gives you plenty of time to be getting on with other things. Okay, let's take those out of the oven now and allow them to cool. Ah, yes, looking nice and golden. Leave those to cool for about half an hour and then cut them into nice squares. Something perfect for tea. There you go, I've cut them into nice squares, these beautiful flapjacks. Smell delicious. They're getting the taste delicious. Now you can see this recipe and loads more in my new cookbook, The Sweet Life, 101 Indulgent Recipes with Less Sugar. You can also visit www.splendor.co.uk for more delicious recipes and top tips on using Splendor low calories.